Countless champions have been crowned throughout the history of competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! But what about the underdogs, the dark horses, the decks that upon first glance make you question everything you thought you knew about the game? In this series, both MBT and myself will be showcasing some of Yu-Gi-Oh!'s wackiest unsung heroes. Each episode will feature new decks, new strategies, and the results will be unpredictable. You've seen the history of Yu-Gi-Oh!, but this is the history of Jank. If you want 5% off any singles or sealed product, click the affiliate links in the description and use code SEMO5. And clicking the TCG Player affiliate link before you shop helps support us to provide you with more amazing content. Yeah! Oh yeah, you know what time it is. I'm about to teach these fish to synchro summon. Behold, Super Ancient Deep Sea King Coelacanth Combo, aka Fish OTK. Now, Fish Synchro isn't only a combo that's found in Edison format. People have been trying to break Super Ancient Deep Sea King Coelacanth pretty much since it was printed, and it's not hard to see why. This card on field allows you to pitch a card from your hand in order to summon as many level four or lower fish type monsters as possible from your deck. The fish type is not particularly well known for having powerful playmakers, but shockingly, it does have many powerful individual tuners, including Royal Swamp Eel, Oystermeister, which is fantastic for synchro laddering, and of course, Fishborg Blaster, which is legal during this period. These cards form the core of a Super Ancient Deep Sea King Coelacanth combo deck that can easily go into Armory Arm plus Colossal Fighter. All you have to do is get the stinker out. Now this is easier said than done. Deep Sea King Coelacanth is a big body and he's got a lot of stars. You could potentially summon him with one tribute if you were playing a terrible card like a Legendary Ocean, but we are playing Substitute. Now Substitute is legal in Edison, but it's not particularly powerful, and that's because it's missing Ronin Toten, the card that would eventually propel it to tier zero status. That said, we can easily cycle through our deck getting all of the bad cards out of the list and ending on boards that are like Double Dupe Frog plus Flip Flop, which are enough to get one turn under our belt before we contribute the remainders off for the boy himself. Edison also has many, many Heavy Storms available in Cold Wave, Giant Trunade, and Heavy Storm itself, which means it's not particularly difficult to wait out an opponent until you find one of these, so you can go for a clean OTK. Let me walk you through each of the individual cards we're playing. We've got two copies of Battle Fader. This is great both as a way to tribute off a monster on your side of the field for Super Agent Deep Sea King Coelacanth, and also as a way to not die. We've got Triple uh, Dupe Frog, two Fishborg Blaster, one Flip Flop Frog, one Gores the Emissary of Darkness, one Matabo Shark, this card is uh, terrible. It looks like a shark that accidentally wandered into a sunken deep sea ship operated by Claire's. Uh, unfortunately, it is a four star fish monster, and for that reason, we are playing it because we need a monster to synchro with Royal Swamp Eel in order to make Colossal Fighter. We've got two Oystermeister, three Substitute, three Super Ancient Deep Sea King Coelacanth, three Swap Frog, two Treeborn, one Unifrog, Brain Con, Cold Wave, double Enemy Controller, very good in any deck that's playing Treeborn, Giant Trune, double Gold Sark, one Heavy Storm, double Moray of Greed. This functions both as a way to filter to your Deep Sea King Coelacanths, but also to get cards like Oystermeister out of your hand since all of these are unfortunately hard garnets, one one for one, two pot of avarices, and two salvages. In the extra, we've got a huge suite of monsters, but the ones you need to be the most familiar with are, of course, Colossal Fighter, Armory Arm, Brianak Dragon of the Ice Barrier is not particularly difficult for this deck to make and can set up OTKs, and of course, Mistworm is also similarly explosive. The deck has a bunch of one star uh, material and stuff like Oystermeister. I do want to temper your expectations with this build, though it's explosive, powerful, and exciting. It also spends like 15 turns in a row passing pretty much every game because there's not a lot you can do while you wait for this idiot to show up in your hand. And more importantly, it's probably not good. Edison format is a format swarming with back row, both really powerful continuous traps like Royal Oppression and conditionally powerful cards like Bottomless Trap Hole and Mirror Force. All of these cards immediately beat us. So we're gonna do the best we can, but uh, let's be realistic. You know, you might look at this deck and think to yourself, this doesn't look like one of the worst offenders in history of jank, right? 
But what if I told you that this deck actually topped a YCS? And if you didn't top, it got all the way to the end and bubbled out. This is Tyler Nolan's Black Garden Control deck. I guess that's what I call this. This is hilarious. So much depth of theory goes into this that I cannot wait to pilot this deck and see how it works. So the thought behind this deck is that Black Garden is a card that reads, if a monster is normal or special summon face up, except by the effect of Black Garden, half its attack, then the control of that monster special summons a Rose token, which is an 800 attack and defense token to their opponent's field in attack position. You can also target a monster in your graveyard attack equal to the total attack of all plant monsters on the field. Destroy this card and as many plant monsters on the field as possible. Then if you destroyed all of them, special summon that targeted monster. The second part of the effect, which is typically used for like FTKs and the like, is pretty irrelevant. We're mostly looking to use the first part of this card's effect to be able to swarm the field with tokens, but also for the attack having effect as well, because having a card like Don Zalug set in the featured article that was actually written about this deck on the Konami blog, Tyler discusses how if you're going up against Gladiator Beast and they attack into a set Don Zalug, not only will the attack of the monster be halved because it's Black Garden, but they're going to take damage, which means Don Zalug rips a card out of their hand, and even if they summon and Mermillo off of the Gladiator Beast tag out and pop Don Zalug, then the token that you get to summon can just kill the Mermillo, and they are actually out more cards than you, and you have better board presence because of the Rose tokens, which is crazy to think that there's so much theory behind a card like this and uh yeah the whole idea is to just bring the pace of the game to a crawl and just slowly rip apart your opponent's resources and kill them by a thousand cuts so this is the deck let's go ahead and do the card by card we have a gale in here as our only tuner to access our synchro package card troopers in here as well we have two copies of dekoichi for just more card draw we just want to try to get to our cards as fast as possible dekoichi stats are like okay don zalug as aforementioned uh just being able to use in tandem with black gardens hilarious also fun to see don zalug seeing play in like 20 10 as well. We have three copies of Spy and a Descendant just to be able to remove opponent's threats. Spy is similar in theory to Zalug where it's just very hard to get over because all the monster's attacks are going to be halved. So they would need a gigantic monster to be able to clear this. We also have a Morphing Jar and then three copies of Volcanic Rocket and Shell. Since everything's going to have its attack halved and your walls are going to be able to stay up, you can afford to take turns off with Blaze Accelerator to pop your opponent's monsters because it doesn't really matter all that much. You're just trying to get rid of all their advantage, not really kill them through sheer damage, although that is possible once you get to a certain point. So that's it for the monsters. We have three Black Guard. We have two Blaze Accelerator. We can just search this with Rocket. Two Avarice to recycle cards like Shell. A Terraforming to get to Black Garden. And then the Traps. There's a lot of them. Two Bottomless, Triple Dimensional Prison, Double Divine Wrath. Hilarious because when you find yourself in Black Garden stall states, you're going to have a lot of excess cards in your hand. And being able to use those cards for things like Divine Wrath or Wind Blast to wrap up the game is pretty nice. We also have a Dust Tornado, a Mirror Force, a Judgment, a Starlight Road to protect Black Garden, and a Torrential tribute. The extra deck is just a ton of sinkers that you've seen all the way up until this point. The side deck has two DD Crow, triple Fossil Dyna, a Grand Mole, a MST, double Soul Release, triple Fiendish Chain Light Imprisoning, and two more Starlight Roads to protect our board and ensure that Joseph will never be able to out Black Garden. So this is going to be hilarious. I'm not sure if this deck is all hype, but in the featured article written about this deck, he was eight and one going into the last round of the YCS. This is a real deck, ladies and gentlemen. I cannot believe it, but I'm glad that we're going to show off this gem because I know there's going to be some people out there who might remember this deck and all of the nostalgia is going to come to a head. So ladies and gentlemen, let's not make you wait any longer. It's time to duel. Buddy, I've been in the tank for like a month. I, I just cannot for the life of me win a game. I need to just embrace the jank once more. And with the deck that I've brought today, Oh, I'm embracing the jank, buddy. This is nothing like you've ever seen. <laughs> you know, it's weird. Uh, usually we're scrubbing terrible lists from Pojo. Uh, for the last couple of episodes, we've been gifted wonderful monstrosities from E3 Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, but this time we're playing two decks that like have tops. And I don't think looking at my deck in particular, you would guess that this deck would have gone that far in an actual YCS. Oh, but I, here this we are, deck buddy. is much more than the sum of its parts as someone who I guess, has had to play against <laughs> it in the past. I guess we will see. That gives you an unfair advantage that you've played against it, but it's fine. We'll take care of it. Uh, shout out to patron Morgan Arnold. Thank you for the support, buddy. You got the hand up. Uh, no, I I don't even think it matters. I'm just passing for four turns. Uh, let's go with this. Odd. It's even two. The number Whoa! of tributes I'm going to need for that coelacanth. Okay. All right, it's fine. Uh, well, shoot. I mean, do I go first or second? I can't really decide. I guess you don't get the extra card, right? So I might as well go first. 
Yeah, I think that's fair. Also, this is probably the first rock, paper, scissors you've won in like a month. So yeah. maybe now the tide is turning, but we shall see. Good luck, buddy. Good luck to you too. Uh, this is not terrible. I'm going to Sark here. Uh, we'll banish Shubstitoad, I think. No, let's do Swap Frog. Okay. Uh, I'm going to set one back to you. Okay. Uh, I'll draw. Main one, I guess I have the combo. I will activate Black Garden. <laughs> that's completely fine. <laughs> that's the combo. Uh, that's it. That's all we're doing. Um, I guess I will also set a card, and I'm going to set two back row, and we'll throw it over. Okay. Stand by main. Well, that's interesting. Uh, I'm going to try for Heavy Storm here. Uh, nothing to that. So my combo is shattered. Wow, that's... I. This deck is on, like, four Starlight Road. I'm personally shocked. Let's go one for one. That's fine. I'm going to pitch Flip Flop. Got uh, the combo? Well, I have a combo. We're going to summon a uh, Substitute here. Yeah, that's a combo for sure. All right, buddy. Do All your right, thing. Let's make it happen. Uh, we're going to pitch this Fishborg. Uh, we'll go Swap Frog, send Treeborn... Uh, we're gonna swap frog, send substitute. Uh, I already went through the other uh, swap frog, so let's just go treeborn. Uh, we'll go. Uh, we can get one of these dupe frogs out. <laughs> and you thought I was gonna do the dupe lock here? No way, dude. I'm gonna win. Uh, <laughs> let's go for uh, coelacanth. Yeah, there it is. All right, we'll use the effect. I'm gonna pitch an enemy controller. Uh, we're gonna grab yep. oystermeister, swamp eel. Metabo Shark and Fishborg. Now the problem here is that this is uh, lethal with like an armory arm setup. Um, but I don't have a monster in attack position. You, you <laughs> do not. You do not. Uh, there's still some stuff I can do. Um, I think I'm still dead. I'm hoping so. Uh, so we're going to go Fishborg and Oystermeister to the grave for Armory Arm here. Sure. Uh, then we are going to trigger the Oystermeister to get a token. Okay. Uh, we'll go Metabo, Royal Swamp Eel, and the token for Mistworm. Ooh. Uh, which is an up to three, so I'll bounce your set card. Uh, and then we'll just go to combat. This is 1871, I believe. Yeah, it's a little off, but uh, it's funny enough that I feel like I have to do it. Uh, and then um, back to you. All right. Is there any card I can top deck that'll get me out of this? Uh, does not look like it. I will set and I will set two more and I will hope to God I can somehow not die. All right. We'll go grab the swap frog here. Okay. Okay. Uh, ho, oh, now now we do have a problem, which is uh, you play, like, trap cards and stuff. Weird. What a strange concept. Hmm, you should have set more. Let's just go to combat. I'll play around Torrential, but not Mirror Force. Uh, we'll go Mistworm into the set card. Um, so this is Gravekeeper Spy. That's interesting. I guess I should have equipped my armory arm. Okay. Get another spy. We'll try it here. I will deprison the coelacanth. Okay. Uh, second main. I could just pass here. No, you can make like, there's some hilarious stuff you can make. Okay, well, I intentionally kept my zones open because I thought I could do some really funny stuff with Swap Frog, which I still can. I haven't normaled. Um, Correct. I'm going to salvage. We're going to grab Substitoad and Treeborn. Okay. Uh, we're going to pitch the Treeborn to summon the Swap Frog. And we'll trigger the effect. We're going to send a substitute. Uh, then we'll normal substitute. We'll go Pryo send Swap Frog. Uh, just because it's funny, I'm going to Divine Wrath substitute. No! I, <laughs> I did really want him to live. Okay, well, uh, shoot. Yeah, it was going to be it was gonna be uh, Dupe Dupe sub uh, Unifrog was what I was going to end on. Ooh, Unfortunately, okay. uh, I, I can't go for the flip flop because it's in Grave. I will... <laughs> <laughs> are XCs out yet? Uh, I don't think so. Nice. Damn it. Uh, well, I will try to try to survive. I'll set and pass. <laughs> all right. Stand by. Let's get back. All my friends. Okay. Um, okay. Well, we, we drew Unifrog, uh, which doesn't do anything, I don't think. Actually, it does everything. Uh, I'll equip the armory arm to the <laughs> Unifrog. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> oh, God. Good game. Sure. <laughs> I had the combo. 
I had the combo. I could have easily won the game if it weren't for heavy fucking storm. I guess I could have just maybe not set torrential as well. That could have maybe helped me that, out. Let's go first. That's what I've been maybe. saying for literally the last two years of history. You know, heavy storm is just such a fair card, isn't it? I don't know how we have managed to allow this card to be legal for, uh, not be legal for this long. But in any case, good luck, buddy. Yeah, you too. I guess... I will start with the best monster in Yu-Gi-Oh, Volcanic Rocket. That's kind of crazy, yeah. Let's use the effect. Let's go ahead and get a Blaze Accelerator to our hand. Yep. And we will set a card and throw it to you. All right, main phase. Let's go True Nade. Here we go. All right. Are we uh, dead? No, you're not dead, but I am doing fun stuff. Uh, we'll go one for one pitch Treeborn Frog. Open one for one again, sure. I, it's, it's, it's just so easy. I don't know what to tell you. We will get Blaster here. Uh, we're going to normal sub. Here we go. Uh, we'll go Blaster for swap. Uh, swap effect. Sure. Uh, we'll trigger the effect of swap on field, so we get our extra froggy normal. Uh, we will trigger swap in hand. Uh, we will trigger swap. Mm -hmm. uh, we will send... Oh, I don't know. How about a substitute? Uh, now we're just going to go off with substitute. Uh, we're yep. going to go... Whoop, whoop, um, this. And we just start milling. And... No effect. Uh, then we're going to go... Dupe frog. Uh, pitch the sub for dupe frog. Uh, and then we are going to normal flip-flop. And then set flip-flop. All right, back to you. Okay, we'll draw. Uh, I don't think this is actually too big of a deal, but it's not ideal either. It'd be a lot better if you didn't have Blaze Accelerator. Yeah, it would be, wouldn't it? Uh, let's fire that. It would also be a lot better if I didn't have Volcanic Shell to pop the <laughs> flip-flop. That's that's decent. That is decent. Uh, Sure, okay, so it goes to great. And then we'll trigger the shell, we'll pay five to add another. Go ahead and... Get that bad boy to hand. Uh, I can't attack. I also can't out the stupid dupe lock, even if I could attack, which is unfortunate. I don't think you're doing much over there. So uh, I suppose I'll just set one. And I'm kind of tempted to put this rocket to defense solely for the reason if you draw coelacanth, you can't just like completely obliterate me. So I'm actually gonna do that out of an abundance of caution. And then uh, I'll just pass. All right, stand by, let's get back our friend. Yep. Well, shoot. Uh, oh, Blaze Accelerator. That is, wow, that's a card, huh? Yeah, I'm just going to pass here. Seems logical. All right, let's draw. Main one. Um, still got to deal with these fucking frogs. This does clear your board, so I guess I'll do it. Uh, to attack with my rocket. Yeah. I will flip spy. Sure. Oh. With spy. Bye. I will grab... Oh, Descendants out. Ooh, I could do that, actually. That changes everything. I thought that was the uh, plan. I thought it was the plan, too. Or actually, no. I thought I had a completely different plan, but then I forgot that we're at the point where this card exists now. Yeah, I actually do like this better. Next, I'll go ahead and summon out a copy of Gale the Whirlwind. Oh, Christ, okay. Uh, Gale effect. Let's go ahead and have one of your frogs. Sure. Then we're going to go Descendant Sack Spy to pop this frog. Uh, I guess I'll search. Uh, what do we still have? Uh, yep, I kept that in. Uh, we'll grab Unifrog here. Then I guess I'll go to battle. So let's go Gale into this. Uh, so I did not keep another frog in my deck. So that is, yeah, that's fine. Then Descendant into your Treeborn, which will yep. come back anyway. And then Rocket for 19. Second main, kind of want to keep Gale around. I just don't feel like it's going to last very long, in all honesty. So I think I should sink it off. So let's get rid of Gale Descendant. Uh, I think this is funny. So I'm going to go for Arcanite Magician. <laughs> sure. Because uh, Descendant is, in fact, a spellcaster. So I'll set a card, and I'll throw it to you. All right, stand by. I'll get my boy. Yep. Oh, God. Unifrog is so good here, but uh, I, I drew Mori of Greed. I have to do it. Ooh, okay. That's fine. Ooh. Oyster Meister going back as well. When you get to this point in the game, your deck is just all gas. Uh, let's see if we can find some. One, two, three. Oh, wow. That's uh, That's decent. That is, that's okay. All right, uh, we're going to go Econ. I'm going to tribute the Treeborn Frog to target your Arcanite Magician. That's rude. Fine. Okay. Uh, Arcanite Magician effect. Let's go for the back row. It is torrential. Oh, sick. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to Arcanite the uh, the Blaze Accelerator. Uh, we'll go Salvage. Uh, I'm going to grab Dupe Frog and Swap Frog. 
uh, we will set dupe frog, uh, go to combat, and just get in, you know? So take your 15, my Arcanite dies. And back to you. We'll draw. The one thing I've always hated about the frogs is how fucking big they are. They're large. They got big butts. I think I have to, because I don't think I have much of a choice. Uh, so let's go for Blaze Accelerator number two, thanks no! to Volcanic Rocket number two. How could this have happened? Right? Uh, we'll kill your dupe. Here it goes. Uh, pay five for shell. Get another one out of the deck. Uh, can't attack. Can't do anything else. Go ahead. <laughs> hmm. Okay, let me think. Uh, who... Hmm. Ah. Huh, ha. Okay. Yeah. I think I will activate Pot of Avarice. Wow. Fine. Uh. Let's Put go. all those shitty frogs back in your. Oh, deck. give me this guy too. What am I doing? Uh. Two. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. This is going to be so easy. I'm just going to draw a lethal. Okay, come on, Coelacanth. I actually need. Yeah, Coelacanth would do it. Coelacanth would do it. Show me Coelacanth. Uh. That's not Coelacanth. Uh, wow, that is really not Coelacanth. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. Okay, um, I'm going to set this. Pass it back to you. All right. I'll draw and hope that I can clear this. So what are the chances you have a 2K frog, right? A hundred percent. I feel like being risky. I'm going to bring out Zalug. Yeah, I could just tell you now. It's not a 2K frog. All right, let's see. Uh, it is flip-flop frog. So we're going to put okay. back the Zalug and the other rocket. Okay, you fool. I'm just going to get Blaze Accelerator back again. I'm aware what you can do. I guess I uh, fucked up my order on that one, but that's fine. Second main, uh, you're just going to get the frog back anyway, so I guess it doesn't matter all that much. I guess it would have saved me a monster for being summoned, but go ahead, buddy. Come on, Coelacanth. Oh, that might be Coelacanth. <laughs> okay, that's potentially Coelacanth. Uh, we drew two Oyster Meister off that Avarice, by the way. Excellent. I hope that if you do draw Coelacanth, at least you will draw like the two cards you need to summon off of it, so your Coelacanth sucks, but we'll see. It's not Coelacanth. That is really not Coelacanth. Oh, that is Coelacanth. Eventually. Oh, no. oh okay. <laughs> All right. See you in a couple turns, buddy. All right. I got to wrap this one up. This deck is not good at winning the game quickly. Yeah. Oh, just setting. All right. Oh, perfect. Exactly what I wanted to see. I mean, I really only have one way to do this. I don't think there's any way I can speed up the clock. So I guess we just try to rip shit out of your hand with Zalu. <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, does it up the clock at all? So we'll go here, hit direct, and let's see what we hit. That one? You are fucking with me, dog. Come on. Oh, let's go, baby! Come on, my guy. Oh, Lord. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, I'll do this. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I, I know we substituted all our cards away, so everything left in the deck is gas, but I am just shocked at how much gas there oh is. Oh my god, dude. Oh, Calm yeah. down. I'm feeling pretty good about it. Uh, I bet you are. Three, four, five. I'm just, I'm just asking. I'm, I don't ask. For There's much. one coelacanth out of the deck now, so the chances of you getting it are much lower. Oh, I don't need the coelacanth. I just need a way to not die to Zaluk. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, back to you. Yeah, that's probably a way to not die to Zaluk. I'll draw. Ah, where do we go from here? But you tell me if that was a 2k frog, right? It's a 2k frog. Do I believe you? Yeah, I'm feeling lucky. Fuck it. Zaluk into the treeborn. Let's do this in the correct order this time. Yep. Rocket into the 2k frog. Wow. All right, fine. Take 100, no big deal. Uh, second main, Black Garden. Good luck, idiot. Uh, okay, draw for turn. Stand by, yep. I'll grab him back. And let's get our little boy. How the fuck do we do this? Uh, okay, Excuse me, one. sir. Uh, Treeborn special summon. Its attack is halved, that and is, uh, is I important. get a rose token. Uh, okay, let's... Uh, I guess let's try for a Coelacanth. We're going to normal it and trigger the effect. Uh... That is fine. It also will trigger my Black Garden, which will have his attack, and I get another Rose token. Right. Okay. So uh, let's pitch Swamp Eel, unfortunately. Uh, we'll go Blaster, Meister, Meister, Metabo. Now this sucks so now because the Swamp Eel draw. Uh, we're going to go Blaster, Meister, Meister. Uh, for Black Rose Dragon. Black Rose. And okay. we're going to blow up the board. That's that's the... Okay. <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, it's funny because I have Starlight Road, so we're not no! blowing anything up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, we keep, what, Metabo here? Uh, yes. It sucks, though, because I don't get Stardust because my board is full of tokens. <laughs> 
right. All right. Uh, where? Okay, that this did resolve the outstanding problem, which is we're out of zones. All right, whatever. Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll go into a defense position, Stardust Dragon. Okay. That uh, is quite large, and Black Garden only has attack. Combat. I'll attack my 1400 Coelacanth into your Dawn Sailor. Sure, so we crash. Second main, uh, I'm going to go for Swap Frog, sending Substitute. Get another token. Uh, we'll send Substitute. Unfortunately, you are good to go. <laughs> okay, I will draw. Okay, so here's a question for you because I can't find the answer. I blaze accelerator and you negate yes, the Stardust. Yes, you can attack. Oh, okay, there we go. Uh, well, that answers that then. Blaze accelerator, go for Stardust. No response. You have to do that, otherwise I just kill you here. So, uh, whoop, this still saves. Don't, Don't worry, do you get to keep it. <laughs> I do get to keep it. This card is actually quite good. Um, well, Man, I, I guess... Man, I should have made Stardust. What am I doing? <laughs> I guess I'll just put everything sideways for now. So that way I just don't get, like, armory armed out of nowhere, I guess. Because, like, I don't know how you're killing me through all of this. So I'll just bide my time until I can kill you next turn. So I will uh, set a card and throw it to you. Stand by me. Sure. Give me my guy. What the fuck? Can you defeat my big ass frog? We will find out. Uh, I guess everything to attack now. Yes. We will go to battle. Yes. We will go into the frog. Yes. We will go into the other frog. Also, yes. What has defense points? Well, you don't have any cards in hand. Uh, let's just go rocket in. Whatever. Wow. A big Excellent. ass frog. So irritating. Uh, there's nothing I can do except set another card and throw it back. There's nothing I could do. Give me my little boy back. <laughs> you can get your boy back. I think um, accomplishes much here. Well, it seems we're at an impasse now, sir, because I am out of volcanic shell. I'm aware. <laughs> it doesn't matter if I kill the frog. You just get it back next turn. It really accomplishes nothing. I'm just going to put everything back to defense, I guess. All right. It, which There's... will happen first? I draw a pot of avarice and cycle my whole combo, or Alex draws one Zayborg. Well, you've already gone through two pot of avarices, and uh, hopefully... I can draw my Avarice. We can speed this up a lot quicker. That is not it. I will set and pass. This is exactly where this deck wants to be. <laughs> Come on, baby. Ooh, you're fucked, buddy. Heavy okay. storm. That's actually a problem. Uh, Yeah, that resolves. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, am I dead? Oh, two, two please accelerate. Are you, are you dead? How the fuck am I going to kill you? I, I, <laughs> I'm passing. <laughs> Okay, we'll draw. I still have no way to clear this fucking frog. <laughs> it's so infuriating. Uh, yeah, just set, pass, go ahead. Oh my god, I found my win con. Okay. Normal uni frog. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. Uh, combat. Wow. Sure. So I'll take four. I'll grab that back row out from under you. <laughs> I'll chain the divine wrath. Oh, son of a bitch. I was like, chain, you idiot. It's, yeah, okay. I don't know. Uh, second main, I'm going to try and substitute. I think I actually do have a dupe in here still. I actually have a lot of I was going to say, you cycled one, one back, I think, with Avarice. Two. That's not a frog. That's, a that's frog. not a frog. Buddy, that's an alien. It's not a frog. You're right. You're right. My mistake. All right. Eight cards in deck. We're, we're going to make it happen, folks. Oh, <laughs> go. Come on. Come on, baby. Oh, wait. That's really good. Eventually. For now, I'm just passing. Give me something to out this shit. Oh my god. Come on. Oh, come on. All right, gold sarcophagus. Sure. Uh, You're just going to deck yourself at this point. Wait, I don't have an avarice still in deck. <laughs> uh, okay, let's uh, banish cold wave. Okay. Uh, back to I'll you. take your word for it that it's cold wave. It's cold wave. It's not different dimension capsule. Uh, terraforming. Yeah. I'll get another black garden, but I don't honestly know if I want to activate it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to, out of an abundance of caution, not activate it. Go ahead. I'm passing, baby. You know I'm passing. Okay. Draw. Finally, we have my average. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's fine. Get all the shells back. Uh, let's get... Hmm. I guess we'll get the gale back. 
And I guess I'm actually going to keep one shell in grave and I'm going to go spy descendant. So let's just mill this. Two shells. Two. I still have no way to out your shit, which is pathetic. God, I could kill you in such a funny way, but I can't do it. Uh, I'm just going to black garden out of caution and pass. Get your cold wave. I can make this work. Uh, econ, tribute, treeborn. Target. The rocket. Sure. It's all yours. Do you have the third econ? No, no. Uh, main one. Uh, black garden triggers. Do you resummon treeborn? Uh, cold wave. No response to Cold Wave. I uh, will tribute Treeborn and Rocket for gores. Okay. Let's attack a token. So I will take 1,900 here. No, you will not. My gores is halved. Oh, that's right. So he's actually 1,350. 13, so I take 550. Yes. Excellent. Man, you got this. I don't have anything <laughs> left in my deck. I was like, where are we going with this? <laughs>well sometimes you draw your whole deck and lose you know uh doesn't happen often but uh did happen there when in doubt lock them out i guess uh fucking black garden i'm actually sort of impressed but you're going first and that scares me so good luck sir uh good luck to you too and uh uh mm, you uh doing all right over there buddy it's, i'm doing fine i'm doing a-okay okay. i will terraforming that's fine i will grab a black garden yep I will normal volcanic rocket. That's, yeah, that's great. I will get blaze accelerator. I bet you will. I will swing for 19 into your gores. Uh, just have battle fader here, a little less exciting. Okay, uh, that is a lot less exciting. Second main, I will black garden. I will set a card and I will probably lose. Go ahead. Uh, stand by main. I, I think you're gonna be fine. Uh, let's go moray. Okay. Uh, Treeborn Meister. Oh, uh. Huh? Did you forget to draw your third card? Yeah, I'm just thinking about it. Oh. There we go. That's interesting, for sure. Let's set one and pass. Gee, what are the chances that that's a frog that I can't kill? I'm going to go with 100%. Zero. I'll just kill this battle fader. Sure. Second main, I will set a monster and just throw it back. Stand by main. This is not going well. Uh, Back to you. Okay. I will... Try to hit into the 2k frog. It's just treeborn. Okay. Then second main, I will throw down another monster, I guess. Go over to you. Uh, stand by. We'll bring back our boy. Yep. That gives me a token. Uh, main, I am going to set a card and you are good to go. I will draw. Uh, battle, kill the treeborn. Yeah. Try to hit the set. Uh, it is flip flop frog i'm gonna bounce this one okay uh then second main i'll just reset it and throw it to you i will get back my boy and i will get clogged with more tokens all right main one set a card back to you thrilling gameplay we have on our hands here indeed it is i mean i could just start flooding your board with tokens so that way even if you no that's actually terrible because you could distribute them for coelacanth i mean i guess there's really no reason to change what we've been doing so into the frog yep 2k frog yes uh second main i will put this token to defense and that's all i got stand by uh trunade all right bada bing uh, bada boom. There's the boy. Uh, we will pitch, uh, Fishborg. Uh, let's go Metabo, Meister, Blaster, Swamp Eel, Colossal Fighter, and we'll make Armory Arm. And that should do it. You equip Armory Arm to my rocket, and I am 100 attack points bigger than Colossal wow. Fighter. <laughs> That is, that is... Good ugh. game, sir. I had nothing else I could really do. My hand was a bunch of monsters, like Dekoichi. I had a Descendant, and funny enough, this was a spy, so if I initially set the spy and drew Descendant the following turn, I could have started maybe doing something. Uh, um, my hand was well. uh, was nuts. It was nuts. It was just missing um, a way to get two guys on field, uh, but you can wait forever for that to happen. I had no way to really interact with it because I had Mirror Force, Torrential, and Blaze Accelerator with no uh, no shell. shells. 
and double black garden. So ah. The way to play around that was to just not have volcanic rocket in attack, but I was just trying to keep you off two monsters, even though that was probably a fruitless endeavor in the end. But uh, interesting match overall. Yeah, for what I, it was I was worth. shocked. Like I thought this was gonna suck ass, but it was pretty. It, there was a lot of back and forth. Um, this black garden deck is. I mean, so interesting. Um, uh, the the guy who played it uh, basically inspired like dozens of people to just tinker exclusively with this card forever. Uh, we didn't even get to see the Black Garden special summon position uh, or yep. special summon effect, but uh, yeah, no, it's an absolutely bonkers card. Yeah, it's strange how this glacially paced control deck came out of a format like post Edison like this. It's trying to play the game as slow as possible. And you see an old beloved card like Don Zalug actually having some time in the spotlight because of the fact that you can just slowly rip cards out of your opponent's hand with it and pair that with your blaze accelerator. If you can actually find your shells, it's fascinating that the downsides of a card like this in a deck like uh, that's playing black garden like this really just don't matter. You can afford yeah. to take all the turns off that you want and slowly just rip apart all of your opponent's board. And then eventually you can just start getting in for damage. But it takes quite a long time. But when you can establish like a reasonable lock, I mean, it's really hard to break. Black Garden is one of those cards that people have looked to forever to try to just do as much stupid bullshit as possible, whether it's something like this, whether it's FTKs. I mean, the amount of possibilities Black Garden has at its disposal is uh, innumerable. Volcanics are kind of a meme in the community because they don't have any new support, but uh, it is nice um, to note that it wasn't just Blaze Accelerator Reload that came out in, like, Duelist Alliance that put this deck on the map. Uh, Accelerator proper is just a really strong card. Uh, with the exception of the battle phase condition, uh, getting, like, four removal spells off is just unbelievable. The Searcher being a 1900 is, is unthinkably strong. Um... Did not work out here because 1900 puts it 100 over where it needs to be for Colossal Fighter, yep. but, you know. Yeah, under normal circumstances, yeah. And plus the fact that Pot of Avarice, you can just cycle them all back to get even more removal. I mean, fish deck is fish deck, and it will do fish deck things. So congratulations on another win, buddy. I know you've been waiting to play this one in Jank, and so oh. now, you're, uh, now you're satisfied. One of my all-time favorite decks, it has like an 80% game one win rate and maybe a 10% game two and three <laughs> win rate. <laughs> So guys, that's going to wrap it up for another episode. I hope you enjoyed. As always, let's shout the patrons for all of their continued support. So shout to Shout1317, Moto Cameron Smith, Tim 0 x 3 SJ Winchester, Chaotic Meatball, MBT Play Medolce, Part 2, Pony Stark, Dan the Manhoban, Synchro Guy, Ole, Yusuf Asa, No 5, I Ship MBT and Simo, Draconic Rockslide, Jordan Coons, Iron Blaze, and Jesse Wood, Chris Hood, David Liu, Skyrose, Dylan Hunter, Cody Brett, John Tubase, Extremely Vulgar Man, Brody Eastwood, Day Sir, Carlos CT, Flannel Daddy, Phoenix the Immortal, Einstein's Theory of MBT's Relative Toes, Hornet, Give Me Speedroid or Give Me Death, Jonah Messenger, TC gaming thanks for the sleeves dad matthew brady max mbt's ghost trick bmw tom russell why read cards when you can just click buttons helios 515 black acre thank you simo mbt gauge the rjb zero and ruxton 34 the entire state of indiana valen jackson justice for queen tira masu imagine committing a crime and finding out your lawyer is a yugi tubing rothschild mbt fans scare me more than covid simping for simo tyler h nicholas carpenter simo's harem of sexy yugi tubers nim noodle malaprinch of the burning tunnels mbt canceled by all community soon. Mike Ty, Stella, and Zoe Vermillion, Wonder Waffle, Skull Servant, and the Wandering Doomed are boyfriends. Just an awesome name. Not reading cards makes the game interesting, and you know it. And The Undertaker versus Simo and MBT. Thank you guys so much for watching the video, and we will see you next time.